That's as simple as I know how to make it. And you want to act like you don't understand, which you, in fact you do. I'm playing for your father's camera. That's what's going on here. I'm sure a judge, when you get done with this, take it down and show it to the judge. But I'll explain to you that what I told you is exactly right. That's, that's as simple as it can be. And see, you thought you were slick. I heard what you said on that megaphone. Oh, some other civilian can be over in that area with a camera, but you can't. But in fact, it's him. And that's what you were doing. So that was really, really, really sneaky. I thought that was pretty neat how you pulled that one. But yeah, bottom line is, now he's been outed, and we know who he is, and he can't come back over. Okay? That's as simple as it is. If you pass the camera off to somebody else, it's going to happen to them. They're going to be told they can't be over. Sorry. Come back Monday. You can walk all up and down that street. Okay? We're just waiting on your ID. So what's the argument? The argument is unconstitutional. That's what the argument is. Sure, public property is public. Until and unless it becomes private. And when does it become private? When somebody rents it for a, a specific purpose. Now you can do the same thing, sir. You have you have the right to do exactly but, the but, same thing. But you, you have public go easements. Down to City Hall you have public and, easements. And get there, yourself though. a permit and ask to be allowed to rent a certain area of the city and bag uh, uh, parking meters for your people to park. And whoever that is is invited as your people. You can rent the police. Uh, to be out here to help enforce those laws that are on the books, and you can say, I don't want that person. Where you run into trouble is you say, I don't want that person because they're black, or I don't want that person because of They're something. Christian. They're Christian. Whatever, right. whatever. when you delineate why, right. you can run into a problem. Yes. Right. So, right, and that's what they did here. No, that's not what they did. And you know better. That's what's funny to me. You're, you're sitting there trying to trap me into something that's not going to happen. You know no, I'm not trying to trap you in anything. Yes, you are. No. You, you just How, put words in doing? my mouth. You just said it was because you're a Christian. It has nothing to well, do with Well, you said if you're black or if you're this or that, and that and said if they're a Christian. That's where the Constitution steps in. It says right. you cannot uh, uh, distinguish by uh, race, creed, color, sexual orientation, uh, religious preference. Explicit. Explicit. Okay. So, if. Now, we're not playing ifs, because ifs get you into trouble. Uh, so. I can if all day, so just like you can. Ifs don't, we don't do eventualities and what might. The only thing I'm telling you is, if you go back over there, you'll go to jail. That's as easy as I can make it. Yeah, he knows that, and he doesn't want to go back over there anyway. I didn't think it was so. just filthy sodomites over there. Yeah, I understood what yeah. you had to say. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand, did you hear when I was telling why I'm, I'm here because I love him enough to tell him the truth? You're, you're perfectly yeah. welcome to your opinion, sir. I mean, well, I'm it's, not, it's not about my opinion. My opinion means nothing. It's what God's word says. God's That's word fine. means everything, right? Again, would you agree? You're, you're welcome to your opinion, sir. But my opinion means nothing, but God's word means well, everything. You just espoused your opinion. To no, me and I, didn't, I basically didn't agree with it. Again, I basically told I'm you what God's word sides. says. I'm out here to enforce the law. Sure. I just think you're enforcing something that's not a law. All right, and that's where the city you gets in big are, trouble are because. Welcome to your opinion, okay? Because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Again. I don't think you're going to find a judge or a jury or a state attorney that's going to agree. But okay. you're more than welcome to try. Okay, we'll, we'll try. Okay. Again, we don't have to not get along. We can get along just fine. No, I have no problem with you. And I have no problem with these sodomites. You know that? God does. That's where I draw you're the line in the sand. Your opinion. You can call them names if that's what makes sense. That's what God better. calls them. That's what you just called them. Yeah, they're called sodomites. Okay, I didn't you read hear the God Bible. Say that. I heard you say. Sure. Well, sodomites are, are the okay. term that God yeah, uses. That's your opinion, and that's your choice. If you want to use that word, that's your opinion. Okay. You're welcome to. Okay. And obviously, you've been doing this for a while, and you know what certain portions of the law are. That allows you to stand out here and say that. Yeah, we are allowed to preach the gospel. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Have a worship service. Because mm -hmm. basically, what we're doing right now is we're having a worship service. See, I, I'm a Bible-believing Christian, and God says go and preach the gospel to every living creature. I've seen so, you down in Ebor. So, I know that you go down there all yeah, the time, too. Yeah. And so when we go out and we preach the gospel, we're worshiping God. And these people are our congregation. Okay? Seriously. I'm not here because... welcome to your opinion, yeah. sir. I have no I'm problem. I'm not here because I hate them. I'm here because I love them enough to tell them the truth. I have no problem and I love with your God. opinion. You can have your opinion. You're welcome to it. You just can't have it across the street. That's all. Sure. No problem. And that's where you and I disagree. 
Okay. It's been, I, I appreciate the fact that you're willing to at least recognize the fact that if you went over there, then you'd be in trouble and you don't want to do yeah. that. So well, that's, that's why I didn't. I stayed on the other side of those barricades, and then she went and grabbed me, wanted me to cross the street, but the cars were coming by. You know? I don't know what you're talking about. Right over here. I mean, when she called you over, she was grabbing the camera, grabbing me, because she wanted me to cross the street, but the cars were coming across the street. So how am I supposed to go across the street when it's a green light going that way? You know, so that, and just letting you know. That's what, why you came over. Because you said. Because I, I, I understood that she was over here talking with you guys, huh? and after I had it, I understood a little more from the lady that uh, is running the event, the fact that she wanted to drive past me, and then I came over here. That she came, well, she called you because she said I, wasn't, I wouldn't cross the street. But the cars were coming, so I couldn't cross the street as much, you know. And I was talking to her. So. Well, we're only going to be in your uh, space for a few more minutes, and then uh, after I get your ID back, we'll be Yeah, and we're going to leave, too. It's up to you. We're going down to Eboards. Time to go talk to those centers. There's a lot of them down there. Oh, yeah. And I don't mean centers of people. Your congregation, right? <laughs> My congregation. So do you profess to know Christ? I mean, are you a Christian? My uh, personal beliefs are none of your business. Uh, yeah. I mean, it says uh, if you, you were a Christian... It you, has nothing it, to do with my position no. here, sir. That's the whole point. So, no, well, the know, Bible says if you were a Christian, you'd believe the Bible. And the Bible says be quick to give an answer to anyone who asks. You see, and it says if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you in the final day. I did respond very quickly to your, your Yeah, he said it's none of your business. Right, because right. it has nothing to do with why I'm here. Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you personally as a man, because I care about you Again, enough to, you and to share I are the not talking on a personal level. Because Jesus died for your sins. Level. Jesus died for your sins, sir. You know, he died I for your sins. I understand your opinion, sir. Mm -hmm. That's what God's word says. I understand your opinion. And God's word is true because it proves itself through 100% accurate I prophecy. I understand what you what you believe. Okay. And God values your soul and I wants you to be saved. He doesn't want you to go to hell. I've heard you talk. Okay. Through. So here's a promise in God's word. It says, if Jeremiah 29, 13, if you seek God with all your heart, he will reveal himself to you. That's a promise, okay? Well, you know what? So I just want to give you some hope there. I want to leave you with a promise. I've uh, got plenty of hope. Good. Even for Good. you. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. And I tell that, you know, if I, if I hated you or didn't like you, I would not tell you that. Okay? You know, I've got no animosity towards you. I have none for you. Okay, Good. I believe you believe in what you're doing. You're officially trespassed from the event. This is a citation for standing and walking in the roadway, especially after being told to move, vacate the roadway by an officer. Signing doesn't admit guilt, just means within 30 days you'll either take care of the ticket or make a court date to contest it. Sure. Oops. Just so you know, though, there were cars coming. I couldn't cross the road. But we'll well, let the judge... You were standing in the road, and I'd already told you to vacate the road, had I not. On here is the website and the phone number if you have any questions or wish to make a court date. Okay. All right. There you go. That's justice in action. Now you can't walk on a public street. Look at that. What do you think about what you just saw? I don't know much about much. But, if I had an opinion, I would have to say, she's probably a lesbian. 